Hey everyone, it's Brian. Let's take the Laplace transform of T using the definition. So what is the definition? Remember, it's the definite integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st times whatever you wanna take your Laplace transform of dt. Well, it looks like to do this problem, I'm gonna to have to do integration by parts. And usually how you do that with exponentials and polynomials is you let u be the polynomial and you let dv be the exponential function dt. Well, this means that du is going to be the derivative of t, which in this case is just dt, and v is the antiderivative of dv. That'll be e to the minus st over negative s. Remember, I have to divide by the derivative of the exponent when I'm integrating e to a constant. So let's apply the integration by parts formula, which is uv, so that's t e to the minus st over minus s minus the integral of v du, which is dt. And now I just have to do this integration once more. So this is going to be minus t e to the minus st over s. Here, minus a minus is going to be a plus. And when I integrate e to the minus st over s, it's going to be another minus over s, just like it was last time. So this will actually be minus e to the minus st over s squared. And I have to evaluate this thing from zero to infinity. But if you remember how improper integrals work, we need to actually take a limit of this thing. So instead of this, I'm gonna use a different letter. Let's just call it, I don't know, let's just say A. And I'll say the limit as A goes to infinity. Okay, now let's evaluate this using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So that says plug in the upper. So that would be minus a e to the minus s a over s minus e to the minus s a over s squared and then minus, plug in the lower limit. Well, if I plug in zero here, this will be t, well, zero times something, which is just zero. And then I'll get minus e to the zero is one over s squared. And now I just have to evaluate this limit. Well, what happens as a goes to infinity? Well, here, maybe this is a little bit easier. I would have e to the minus s times infinity, or rather this is going to e to the minus s times infinity. So what I really want to happen is I want this to go to zero. Now, when does that happen? Well, that will happen if I have e to the minus infinity, heading towards e to the minus infinity. But if you think about the values of s, that's only gonna happen for positive s, right? If s was negative, this would be e to the positive infinity, and this Laplace transform would blow up, so that's not what we want to happen. So I have to make this domain restriction on s. This problem's a little bit trickier because I'm getting, well, I'm getting minus infinity times e to the minus infinity, which is zero. That's an indeterminate form. So this would have been a L'Hopital's rule question back in Calc 1 or 2, but um, right now, you should sort of know how these work, and I'm just kind of gonna wave my hand and put the answer out there. Since e grows faster than a does, um, the e function sort of takes over, and, and this one is just gonna go to zero as well. So it's sort of a bad argument for that, but you, if you have an intuition about how limits work, that's what's gonna happen here. So look what happens, we get minus well, I get zero, zero, minus zero, and then minus minus one over s squared. That's plus one over s squared. And that is in fact 
what the Laplace transform of T is using the definition. Hey, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye.